Hello everyone, and this is Argon Matrix. Welcome you back to episode nine. Nine, I think it is. Is that is that right? I'm not sure. What do we, what do I what am I doing? Is this the right let's play? Anyways, here's the next cuckoo that you're gonna want to pick up. We're gonna be collecting the next four, like the last four, or the next four or something cuckoos. Um, and then we're gonna get get another piece of heart after that. We're not gonna get. I don't mean that we're gonna get a piece of heart for collecting the cuckoos, but we're gonna get a piece of heart from somewhere else in this town. So, first thing you want to do is take this cuckoo, or any cuckoo really, it doesn't matter, it's not like one's better than the other, and f fail at flying over there. Yeah, that was kind of epic fail, but whatever. Uh, it might take a few tries to actually get over that fence. It kind of, it kind of, you have to kind of like glitch your way on top of the fence, or D, I don't know. Maybe, can you just fly over this one? Okay, that's easier. Um, and you come down here. You want actually, actually, you want to go back up here. Duh. Uh, wow, that was redundant. Kind of. And then you jump down here. And there's another kook right here. And then you go over here, back up these stairs, and you throw another one over there. And you probably just saw the other one in the background. And it's like, hey, don't forget about that one. Don't, you, don't be stupid. You just. Yeah, giant squids of anger, I hear you. I understand you. I mourn for you. Uh, so here is what I think will be the last chicken. Or the last cuckoo. Is it cuckoo or cuckoo? I don't know. I'm just going to call them cuckoo, because they're crazy. Okay. Let me pick it up. That's stupid. Yeah, that's, that's one thing that's stupid. If you're too close to the cuckoos, then you can't actually pick them up. It'll just kind of like walk around through them or something. Okay, now you two, you get back over here. Uh, yeah. uh, doo -doo -doo. I can't see where I'm going because the camera's not facing the right way. No, I, oh, I used the seasick to try and turn the camera, but that doesn't work on the... That doesn't work in this game. Let's stop talking. Oh my gosh. You stop running into a wall, you... No! What, what, what am I doing? Am, am I even playing this game anymore? I, ch ch ah. No, what? No. Please bring the last one back to the pen. Okay, so that's all that there is. Uh, this one over here. Is it still over here? Yes, it is. These cougars, they won't, like, run away or anything. Well, they will, but... Uh, they won't run away from the area that you drop them in, really. They'll stay in one certain specific kind of area. And that's the last one. And she says, Thank you for finding my cougars. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. And that leads to the question, why am I breeding cuckoos in the first place? Well, I just want to sell their eggs so I can make a profit and buy empty bottles like the one I'm about to give to you. And this is the first of four empty bottles that we will be collecting throughout the game. Um, you actually have to get one bottle to mandatory to complete the game, but they force you to get one anyways, so don't worry about that. Uh, yeah. So, that's good. That's good to have, but we don't need to do anything with it right away. We will later, so don't worry about that. And now we're going to get the piece of heart that I was talking about. Or the piece of ass, as Nintendo Capri Sun would say. Uh, I shouldn't promote him on my channel. Like, that'll just make you go away and watch him and not subscribe to me. Subscribe. So you want to climb up here for the piece of heart, and most people will probably think, Hey, there's no piece of heart up here. What are you doing? Well, actually, you're not. the piece of heart isn't going to be up here. What you want to do is hold L... And you're not supposed to be able to do this for a long time in the game, but you can actually jump off, and if you do it just right, you'll land like this, and you can climb onto the roof here and talk to this guy, and he'll say, Hey, good to see you again. Oh, yeah, 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 good to see me again, because you just saw me, like, five seconds ago on top of that tower committing suicide, or so you thought. And that gets you another piece of heart. Um, now you can come back down here. You can go into this hole if you want. Going down the hole. And there's here Mr. Saturn. Hello, Mr. Saturn. What are you doing today? Boing, boing. The current time is 7.45. Cool. Yeah. And in here you can find a red rupee. So, it's not really too rewarding, but I want to show it anyways. Just because when I was getting the cuckoos around here, you're probably like, Oh my gosh, what's in that hole? Urgh. What? 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 She, she let the cuckoos out again? What a dumbass. Why would she do that? I went to all the work of getting those cuckoos for her, 
and she just threw it back in my face. It's like, okay, go get them again, and I won't give you anything for this time. What's in here? Who's there? What a bad kid trying to enter from the rear door. Such a bad kid. I have to tell you some juicy gossip. The boss carpenter has a son. He's the guy who sits under the tree every night. Don't let the boss... Don't tell the boss I told you that. Well, that was a pointless waste of time, if there ever was one. So, uh... I think now... We're gonna go to the graveyard. Because there's a few things to do there for us. There's, there's a few things for us to do there. Uh, did that sentence come out right? I hope so. So this is the way to the graveyard, and there's no music in the graveyard. Just to make it all creepy, there's just the sound of like the weather and the sky. It's like rainy kind of sounds. And you, yep, there's basically nothing here. There's some random little kid walking around. He's like, I'm gonna be like the gravekeeper someday, cause I just wanna bury people all day long. But what you wanna do is you'll see the, you'll see this one grave. Oh wait, you can't do this in the day because as I'll show you if you try to pull this. Don't cause trouble, I'll tell Dompe. Yeah, that stupid little kid will tell you not to do that, because, yeah. But there is actually something we can do about that. If we head up here, you want to go up to here, and there's this uh, Triforce symbol in the ground. So you can check it, and it says the crest of the royal family of Hyrule is inscribed here. So what you want to do with that is you want to take out your ocarina, your fairy ocarina. I said your fairy ocarina, there you go. And you want to pull it out. And if there's a song that you're supposed to play in a certain area, then a staff like that will come up and tell you and tell you to, how to play and stuff. If you don't have to play a, certain, a song in that area, then nothing will show up. But in this case, you want to play Zelda's Lullaby. And that will create a pretty dramatic and epic cutscene. I'm going to shut up for a minute because I just like to watch this. Man, that was awesome. Wasn't that just the coolest thing you've ever seen? There was like a brief close-up on Link's face for a minute there. I didn't know if you could see it. Well, I, di I didn't know if you could see it. I don't know if you could see it. Anyways, so you want to fall down the hole into the royal family's tomb. And there's a bunch of dead bodies around here. Oh, I forgot about the bats. I forgot about the bats. Kill it, kill it. Oh, use what am I doing? I should use my slingshot. I mean, God knows I have enough ammo. Hey, where'd it go? Oh jeez, it's right in my it's right in front of my face. That was that was scary. I've never seen one of those actually close up. There, it's dead. Isn't there another one on the wall around here or something? Okay, apparently not. But basically all you have to do is you have to kill all the keys that are around here. They're not bats, they're keys. One is right there. There's another one right there, I think. Oh look, that one dropped uh bullets. That was the fail. Okay, so there's more around here, I know. Are they on the walls? I forget where they are. It's kind of hard to see because they're black and my screen isn't the best, isn't the best for brightness, so... I, I could have sworn there was another one back in this area, but... I, I guess not. I guess I'm mistaken. Man, I'm running out of time, too. Jeez. Okay, oh wait, I see it, I see it. Is that the last one? Please tell me it is. Okay, yes. So, that's that. That unlocks the door, because killing all the enemies in this room will unlock the door. That's even more Zelda logic. Like, so many things will unlock doors in this game, it's unbelievable. Like, how come you can't just get a key or something, or find a button to press that will lift up the bar? Because that would actually make sense, somewhat. Uh, so, we're gonna go through this door. And ooh, there's a bunch of green slimy stuff and a bunch of odors. It, kind of, it looks like Mexico. Not really. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of bad for on my part. Uh, does Link look giant to you? He does to me. I don't know. But I think that's all we're going to do for this episode. So in the next episode, we're going to continue on through this rather weird and creepy area. So this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.